morning. Last night ended up a success. How good was that? But the belts fell off. So got up this morning at, I don't know, ridiculously early o'clock, because that's what I do. And uh, we put the belts back on. But um, we'll see. We'll see how long they last. So done a quick plug check. They look good. Number one's a little bit rich, but number four was probably perfect so we'll just run with that for now but I feel I'm nearing the limits of my old uh, 600 Edelbrock and that's four bar and all but so airflow is airflow so let power our steering pump would not go astray if I had that I could use that bracket over where it's meant to be on the uh, alternator and I wouldn't have any of these issues but that's something we can work towards over time. We've got a running, very low 14. So I don't think I'm going to get much better than that because that was pretty good air last night. But yeah, alrighty. Well, we'll see what the day brings. And once we get started, I'll see you up there. Pressure, she just hooked and bogged. So, 
Uh, more revs. That's my next solution. More revs on the line. Alright, so, a couple of cars in front and then we'll have a game. Junior bike, junior bike, you should be the 
saving lane. Junior bike should be in the saving lane. again because there's a snake on the track and then computer issues now so we started at 10 30 we've done three runs and it's now uh, 5 30 so it's nearly dark We lost round one. Oh, Brett here won it. So uh, he um, ran a 13.6 and I ran a 14.8. If only someone had told me I should have run a 14.8. Dial in 14.8. Because it was 14.807. So, needless to say, I'm back to a 14.6. I took maybe a degree issue timing out, hopefully, if it worked the way it should. And, um, We'll see what happens this time. Round two. Bring her on.
couldn't take off for all. It just bogged. Yeah, no, I don't know what happened. It just bogged off. The, yeah. Oh, well. I think I short shifted. <laughs> Plenty of manuals. Okay, yeah. Yeah. No, no worries. Good run. So anyone that listens to me ramble on in the car when I'm sitting there doing nothing, you would have heard me say countless times, I really need to do something with this fuel centre unit. So I just ran a, I don't know, it may as well have been a 16 second run. And I'll show you why. This is my now new fuel centre, ready? That sucker's bone dry. I had no fuel in it. So I've got 20 litres, I'm going to chuck it in the air. Let's see if I can run a better time next time. So I've chucked the 20 litres in. Let's do the ring test and see what it does now. Yeah, it's a totally different sound. fuel hopefully we do better than like slow wow look 14 8 no that was 15 6 I don't know maybe 15 6 I don't I don't even remember looking at the time I was just sidetracked with the fact that I ran out of fuel and didn't give it any thought so let's have another go last run for the night definitely not in the finals this time Troopy ain't winning no trophy. Not this week. It's alright. It's alright. Sit back. And we're on the track and we're running and it's fun. I've had a good weekend out here. And uh, I'm learning how to drive this sucker again. But I think the next time I'll try it with the dumpers on because it's loud. And it's hard to know what's going on. Keep him out and the uh, duty's definitely gaining on him. And a 1383 on a 1368. Ruben takes a win. A 1501 on a 1486 for that. Anyways, well, I lost every round this week. Uh, yeah, we've lost every round. But, I don't know. You guys weren't on the journey when I first started trying to do this. In about halfway through, and I'd sort of gotten used to the car. And then, as I progressed the car, there wasn't huge changes. And this clutch is a huge change, way better than the old one, even though it's in the same spec. And, um, yeah, just lots of just double power to figure out how to use it. Yeah, that's a big one. So, that's us. I'm gonna go and do a turnaround on this thing. 
camp and uh, get ready to, you know, travel. Have a few beverages and that'll be us for the evening now. Sit back and chill. But thanks for coming for the ride. All you troop groupies that moved out the whole session of this uh, little video. And thanks for watching. It's um, been an endeavor getting this back up and running. Like the fact we're driving again. But it's just going to take time to get ourselves in a routine that works. Repeatable. We need to get back to that repeatable state. Alright, I'll see you all next time. So what I have available are these Super Troopster shirts with Aussie Doug on the front. If you'd like one, I will have a pinned comment with a link to my Instagram and Facebook pages. Shoot me a message on there. Hit that notification bell.